Welcome to Overgo World, making your life better through tech, vacations and other great things. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on our latest videos. So we've got the mower set up and it's charged on its base. You start the uh, mower through the iPhone app and when you start it, it will come out of its um, base. As you can see, the, one of the good things about this mower is that it can rotate on the spot. Um, so when it is turning and it does cut in stripes, it can do that quite well. So as you can see, it's positioned itself to do the cutting first. And it is doing this in a vertical manner at the moment. The speed as well, you can increase from 0.3 meters per second to 6 meters, 0.6 meters per second as well, if you want to do that. I normally set it at 0.3 meters, so it's um, on the first time that it's cutting the grass, and then you can speed it up to the 0.6 if you just want it to do a quick cut. Now, let's talk about some of the issues with the mower, because it is, it is generally a good mower. The issues are that it's had a lot of uh, firmware updates uh, for the mower and for the app. After these updates, sometimes the positioning can get messed up, um, and sometimes it will just randomly stop, so there are sometimes some bugs with the software. Um, but as you can see here, um, once you've done the perimeter mapping, um, it tends to know where to go up to and then stop. Now I've had to do the mapping three times because the initial first two times, even though I walked behind it and did a manual mapping, um, the um, mower fell off into the flower bed. Um, so this time when I've done the mapping, I've come in a lot closer from the perimeter rather than going up to the perimeter and as you can see there it's stopping and rotating. The downside with this is it is leaving an edge uh, which will require manual mowing afterwards or you can put the mower in manual mode and use your iPhone to guide it around to uh, cut any areas which haven't been cut. So as you can see it does not go all the way up to the edge. If you try to do it all the way up to the edge, it can, but it typically falls off into the flower bed and into the mud. The unit itself is very heavy as well. And when it does go off the edge, uh, you can feel the blades grinding. So it's probably best to keep it in from the edge. In addition, when it does come across obstacles, you can set different sensitivities for object detection. You can switch it off to uh, make it go even closer but as you can see here um, it doesn't do a very good job in terms of cutting all the way up to and around uh, obstacles so it leaves uh, a fair bit of grass around which you're going to need to trim with uh, an edger. The other thing is it does tend to leave clumps of grass on there so as you can see because it is cutting in stripes it does tend to leave some clumping of the grass um, so although you get some good striped cutting um, it does leave the grass slightly untidy in terms of the clumping of the grass we hope you enjoyed watching this so please feel free to hit the like button and remember to subscribe for great upcoming videos thank you and see you next time